Hey, what's going on guys? Richie Fix here back with another video and today we're going to be doing a figure review on the brand new Marvel Legends 85th Anniversary Astonishing Wolverine. Now, as soon as I saw this puppy go up for pre-order and basically all the promotional pictures, I was in. This thing was looking epic. I know everybody has been blown away by the 97, oh, uh, excuse me, the X-Men 97 Wolverine. It's kind of taken the the mantle, I guess you will, the first place spot for a lot of people. But I think this thing could be right there with it. Granted, it is not your classic Wolverine. This is the Astonishing Wolverine costume, but it is very, very close. And with the new Deadpool movie coming out, it looks very similar, if not the exact same outfit that he's going to be wearing in that movie. So it'll go well with that. Also along with your Wolverine collection. So let's take a look at what he's got here. We got this new Marvel Legends box with the celebrating 85 years on it. I love the new packaging. Immediately, I love the new packaging. It's very clean. It's very simple. I like the this, I guess, this, the shape of it. Uh, it's much easier to store when it's flat and rectangular like this compared to the oblong, I guess. <laughs> The weird ass shape, whatever they used to be in, but I like this a lot better. It looks a lot cleaner. It's just overall nicer to me. So take a look at the box. You get everything in here as far as two sets of extra hands and an extra head sculpt. And that extra head sculpt is epic. I love that anger face. Got a nice little comic side art piece right there. And then the back also a very, very cool picture of him in his astonishing uniform. Um, no blog or no blurb or anything like that. I'm fine with that. I mean, we don't really need that. You, if you know, you know about Wolverine. We only get about 15 of these a year, it feels like. But yeah, it looks very, very good. Very, very simple. Not a whole lot to do, but just pull him out and see what he's all about. All right, guys, taking a look at Wolverine outside of the package. And I have to say immediately, this thing is looking great. I mean, I love the face sculpt. The paint apps on this thing are very good. He does actually get the arm hair this time. X-Men 97 did not come with that, even though it did get the sculpt for it. But if you wanted it, you were going to have to go in with like a black or brown Gundam pen and do it yourself with all that. So there is, it looks like, appears to be some on the back of his arm as well that did not get that treatment so you still might have to use a Gundam pen if you want to get all the sculpting it's weird that they would add that sculpting but then didn't actually decide to paint it so interesting there but this thing is looking great just kind of letting you take a look at it in its entirety so real quick before we get into everything as far as articulation he does come with two fist hands so he is going to get one for both the right and left. And then he does get a right open grasping or kind of like a Spider-Man like sprawl hand or choke hand, whatever you want there. And then he does get a left pointer finger. And these are all painted pretty nice. Like as you can see, the silver on there looks very, very good. Well, nicely sculpted. So looking very, very good there. Now, as far as articulation, let's take a look here. He does get... The double jointed elbows so looking very very good there can go up that far does also get a nice bicep swivel so looking good there and then does get look at how far now talk about butterflies because this thing man look at the range on this thing whoo butterflies on that puppy Coming out of our cocoon with this butterfly effect right here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> those are nice. I like those a lot, actually. And then does get to go full extension on the front end as well. So very, very nice as far as his arms going up. These It's nice that his shoulder pads get out of the way. So it does go up that far on both. Can we get a little bit more extension? Maybe a little bit more on that way. And then as far as the ab crunch. Let's see. Where are we at here? Looking pretty good, man. I mean, he's getting down there. He's touching his toes if he needs to. And then as far as getting it back, he's going back about that far. So looking very good there. And then leg extension. I mean, do we have a full split? Do we have a... We do. We have a Claude Van Damme here, folks. Haven't been able to see many at Marvel Legends do that. So that's very nice. Does get a thigh swivel there does get the double jointed knees if i can get it it's a little bit stiff but can we get an ass kick can't get an ass kick there that's okay um and then as far as extension on the forward is gonna go up about that far so looking good there and then there is no boot swivel so i know that was one of the cons for a lot of people is there is no boot swivel there but 
does get ankle pivot foot does go up that high and then can go down that far so very very nice let's take a look at him with the alternate head all right taking a look at the alternate head here and i don't know why or when i i'm sure there are plenty of purposes you can use that other unmasked head for but this is the this is the winner right here, man. I mean, this thing is just, with this head sculpt, this got to be one of my favorite Wolverine head sculpts. Even though it's not the traditional, like, big, big winged ears or anything like that. Kind of like that shorter ear look. That teeth grit, to me, has got to be one of the best ones that we have as far as a Wolverine figure. So, I like this one a lot. And, oh, man, I, it's... This has got to be one of my favorite. I, I don't know if this takes X-Men 97 just because I love that classic look so far. Might have to give it one or two days, but it's going to be close. All right, and doing just a little size comparison here with one of the Jada figures, it fits the line. That's the best thing about these Jada figures. We always seem to tie in Jada one way or another. With M. Bison, you can definitely see there is a size difference there. He's the <laughs> Wolverine has always been a little bit of a smaller dude. I think he's like 5'2". Or something like that. 5'4 or 5'2, I think, is something like that. But as you can see, M. Bison on the back, he's about, yeah, he's a little guy. He's a little guy. But that's that's how Wolverine's always been, except in the movies. For some reason, they, in the movies, they make him about 6 foot. But I can understand that. You can't just have a little 5'2 guy running out there in the movies, can you? But just a little side-by-side -side comparison against one of the Jada figures. I right, guess that is going to wrap up this overview for the Astonishing Wolverine from the Marvel Legends 85th Anniversary Wolverine Collection. And I have to say, it's very, very close as my favorite Wolverine that we've gotten so far. I think X-Men 97 still might hold the top spot for me personally, just because I resonate with that Wolverine the most. Granted, this is very close as far as the colors and everything. Ears are a little bit smaller, but that's fine. It doesn't bug me. The head sculpt on this thing is epic, though. One thing I can say, if you have any interest in this at all, get it now. Because if you wait, <laughs> this is definitely going to be one of those figures that is going to be expensive later on. If you thought or even didn't get a chance to get the 97 Wolverine, you're hurting in the wallet right now. That thing's about $70. Granted, like I said, that might be the more popular costume, but that's debatable out of the Wolverines. And that show had just come out and everything, but it's an expensive figure. These Wolverines, if they're good, become expensive. So if you have any thoughts, especially with the new Deadpool movie coming out and everything, this one's going to sell out quicker like, a, it's available now at a lot of retailers, but if you sleep, you give it a couple months, this thing's going to disappear, and then, yeah, it might be up there with the X-Men 97 prices. So, that's it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate it so much. I'll see you on the next one. Richie Figs, later.